All right, you're in. Mark Grizzly's Happy Bun Man, home of Randy Rose. Hard to believe this is all still standing out here and all, huh? You ever heard anything about Mort Grizzly or Randy Rope? Or about that terrible tragedy that closed this whole place down? Apparently they all went all up in the haywire one day and just up killed everyone in the park and all. Hello, hello everyone. Hope all is well. I'm Miles Dyer and welcome to another Let's Play. I was at my computer forgetting how short that trailer is uh, as I was getting the speech chat working in my ear. Hope you're all doing good. Today we are taking a look at Happy Funland, which I've been super hyped for for the longest time because the aesthetics of the trailer and the world building look epic um, and I'm always up for a satirical take on a well-known theme park. Don't know what one they could be talking about, but I love this little roller coaster going around uh, me there. Um, but yeah, here I am in the lobby with not just hands, but some bit of bit of wrist as well, which is nice. And then it sort of fades away. Um, but I hope you're doing good. If you're in the chat right now, I can hear you in my ears. And if you're watching on replay, I'll be chatting to you afterwards in the comments section below. But I want to say uh, a massive thank you to Spectral Illusions and Perp Games for providing me with the game key so I could enjoy this. And yeah, we're just going to go straight into it. Here we go. Okay, R to L2 to move. Interesting. So you don't use. Oh, you can use the joystick as well. Okay. Now, something that is lame. Stand is. You've got to stand in the middle of the compass. That's cool. But. Grizzly Company not liable for death or dismemberment. But it's only click turn. Oh, snap turn. Increment. To the west is Dangerland. Maybe a land of perilous uh, danger. You and your whole family will be Maybe enjoy ninety a is the best. Okay. Here we go. South Florida, happy of then funnish. So you pick up using the grip buttons. Okay. Hey kid, it's Fort Grizzly's happy funland. Wanted. Able-bodied person to assist in videotaping an abandoned theme park must have legs and be reliable and work cheap, not easily spooked. A plus. Contact Larry for info. Five 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 five, five four five. Um, oh, I like how it floats. That's really cool. And there is contact with your hand. That's a nice effect. Um, right hand toggle on and off. Okay. And left hand. Okay. We'll just leave that there. To the west is Dangerland, a land of perilous danger. You and your whole family will enjoy a happy and fun escape from your sad and futile life at Mort Grizzly's Happy Funland. Hey kids, it's Mort Grizzly's Happy Funland! To be honest, I'm just going to put... Oh, I can't put options on now, so I've got to face this way. You had never heard of Happy Funland Theme Park, or its tragic tale, when you agreed to meet a total How are the visuals and, and the sound Larry, people? Hello, everyone is just joined. Hey, you good? Swamp. Perhaps if is you the volume good? the grisly events that happened there, you wouldn't have agreed to the job. <laughs> Wow, hey, this looks hey great. Dude, you hear me, Larry? Watch me. Come on out here to the dock and we can get started. Yeah, this environment looks really great. You don't mind if I call you dude, do you? I call everyone dude, chicks, Wait. dudes, whatever. Yep, so I'm Larry. What the fuck is through my head. Look, I know it's real hard. Right, to I'm going to put click turning to 45. In the middle of the swamp at night and all go. like this. So I do appreciate you coming. Look at you. Yeah, you'll do just fine. <laughs> so, the first thing we need to do here is have you I went to check and see if you can fall in the water. Top of your head. 
This here will allow me to see here Let's have a look. everything you do. You say it looks a little bit dark. This game uh, is no dark. As we go. But Put this on. Let me change the gamma a little bit then. I will do this for you. Like I'll do that. I think that'll be fine. There we go. Right. Got a signal. Video looks pretty dark, though. Mm. You know, when I told you to meet me here at night, I kind of forgot about the whole it being dark thing and all. So, you're probably going to want to have a flashlight. There's one in my toolbox on that crate over there by the fence near my truck. Why don't you go over there and get it? Anyways, it being dark and all just helps set the proper mood and such. Plus, it just seemed to be easier to sneak in, cover darkness and all. Flashlights just in my red toolbox right there. What's inside? What do you think? That should come in handy for you. Ah. It's not working. Do I hold it the other way? Like that? I'm kidding. I know what that is. Heh 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 heh. So anyways, like I said to my ad, I needed someone to explore and videotape this abandoned theme park I found out here called Happy Fun Land. You ever heard of it? Probably not. It was closed and abandoned in the early 70s. See, I make online videos where I explore abandoned places and things, and I usually would just do it myself, but I came out here last month to do just that, but I didn't make it too far till boom! Damn gator chopped off both my legs. Oh yeah, you better believe it's been hell. I thought my videographic days were oh. over and my video channel would start losing followers. But this here find is way too big to walk away from, even if I could still walk. So that's where I came up with this idea for just having a wireless video headset and all and just hiring someone else like you with legs to explore the place for me. So come on, hop on the boat and we can get started. That's what I've been trying to do. Let me on. There we go. Okay. So this here dock was the closest point of entry I could find out of here, just outside the government property. They got this whole place locked down pretty good with left five fences and all. If they still got power, there must still be power going to the park. Now I have to go up that way. Now don't you worry about being the tech for gators out here or nothing. As long as you're careful and keep an eye on them, you should be just fine. Just don't be stupid like I was and you should be able to walk away from this on your own two legs. So now we're crossing on the Grizzly Company property and are technically illegally trespassing and all, but don't you even worry about that. Pretty sure they don't need to control this place that much anymore. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, let me pick it out. There's another billboard for the park. Park Grizzly, Happy Funland, home of Randy Rose. You ever heard anything about Fort Grizzly or Randy Rope? Or about that terrible tragedy that closed this whole place down? So, oh, they bats just like blind rats, little rodents. I think this level design is awesome. What they is. There's the old entrance to the parking lot. That used to be the main way in, but you can't even access that road to the freeway no more. Road's gone all over ground. After that tragedy, the company just pulled out and shut the whole park down. They supposed to pour it all down too, but really, it all looks like they just tried to bury the whole thing out of here in the swamp and left it to rot. Hey, Jack. No, that's, a, that's not my wow, good my look legs. Too small. Big boy. Big boy. My legs are twice the size I'd reckon. And Jack up on me. All right, we're almost here now. Just up ahead. There it is. Your entryway into the fun park. Just follow that storm drain all the way down, and it'll lead you right to the main electrical room, where you can hopefully get the power back on for the whole park. I admit it ain't the most sanitary that's the way in, but he'll do it. 
Oh, well, we can discuss your payment after you get all the footage I need. Fair enough. Once you get that power like store, that even you'll be able to the whole place. Clothes. Right on some rides and stuff. You like fun parts, right? But this should be fun. You, get that back? you should consider you the fun that? you'll have here as part of your compensation. One of the perks of the job, if you will. Well, go on now. Get to it. I ain't got all night. Okay. A red That's balloon. That's definitely some freaky freak. Probably just the wind. You ain't scared of no balloon, are you? Oh, being Anyways, in. this thing part you're breaking that. into here was built by a guy named Mort Grizzly. Well, I don't mean built like installing the framing and doing the drywalling or nothing like that. No, he but was a big yapping. money. He worked no animator or nothing like that Walt Disney fella. No, Mort Grizzly made his fortunes in firearms, alcohol, and tobacco products. Randy Roden was a Grizzly Tobacco Company's cartoon so cigarette cool pitch man. When you know, the hook the kids. Okay. Anyways, I read up on him and all, and I guess he was facing a bunch of government lawsuits. Or hey, what's that? Some kind of Randy Roden crime or something? This stuff weren't here the last time I was. No idea. Who, what's that note say? Oh, there's a... Destroy uh, Randy Roden figures? I guess you should probably do that Can you find and destroy then. eight of these injection-molded Randy Roden? Okay. Do I throw one of these? No. Oh, oh mother wow. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, there and Eileen. Where the hell did that thing come from? Can and I wear it? sold my doors. No. About to sport my best trousers. What is that? Some kind of crazy Randy Roden headed mannequin? I swear I didn't put it there, dude. Okay. I mean, sure, it's true there's been lots and lots of people that have died here and all. And yes, there are rumors this place is haunted and whatnot, but don't let none of that scare you. Just keep going, dude. Don't check it out. So this is about as far as I got the last time I tried breaking in here. I was a tunneling into hey, the electrical room up there when that damn gator came up oh. behind me and chopped off both my damn legs. Yeah, it's a pretty <laughs> big. Oh, there's well, another one. I beat him off, me and all. Had to crawl myself back to Hang my boat. First Losing half my blood along the way and all. It was pretty brutal. But this is where I find my random Probably should be though. making noise. So it total on. No. Oh, cockroach is horrible. Hit it. Oh well. Okay. Main fuse box. Need a fuse. Questions over and over. Think of answering them. So I'm gonna make these tapes. So the power goes out of the clock. You can't get the power back on. Basically, need a fuse. That is usually a fuse in the cabinet. That fuse in the fuse box. Pull the lever to start the power back on. Yep. You know, boys have to come to me with your problems. You got a brain, you can figure it out. Listen to the tape. Right, so where is the fuse? There we go. Behind me, right? Fire it up. Hey, I think I lost communications there with you for a bit. Good job taking some initiative and getting that power back on and all. Looks oh. like you're just about to the front entrance of the park now. The There's That's a happy cool. funland sign and another one of them weird ass balloons. This is super cool. Ah, damn! Watch out wow. for that sucker. Don't get up on him. Just let him pass. Can I go Keep near your him? Legs on. Just let him pass. 
There's one of them old timey photo booths over there too. Maybe you can save your memories of tonight's little adventure in any one of them booths. Wow. That was kind of blinding. All right, you're at the Happy Funland Main Engine. Hard to believe this is all still standing out here and all, huh? This is really going to help me out with my I'm trying not to I mean, click my turn as much as possible. Help me get more followers for my video account. See, I had a lot of time to learn up on this place while my legs was healing. They say they had this whole place almost completely automated. So I can't hear you because I'm just going to yap in my ear. Mostly robots are audio automatons, they call those things. I guess they were very advanced for the time period and all, built by There's some the, uh, Nazi German scientists. Are they alligators over here? Apparently they all went all up the haywire one day and just up and killed everyone in the park and all. That was a tragic part of told me about. There's another one. There's the balloon. Torches everywhere. Looks like you're gonna need a ticket to get in. Poke around back at one of those ticket booths. Maybe you can find one there. Awesome hand. Right. I'm gonna try and find the ticket. Let's see what this guy was saying now. Howdy! This automated ticket booth is currently experiencing technical difficulties. Please inform the nearest living front employee to manually dispense tickets for you. Sorry. Ticket dispensed. All right, you got a ticket. Go give it to that auto automato that Tommy a tone tiny tay tiny Tim thing at the front gate. Thank Hell, you know what I'm talking about, that thing with wires. Thank you. This ticket is solid. Have a fun and happy time at Port Grizzly's Happy Fun Land. Trophies is what I like to see. Alright, you're in! Port Grizzly's Happy Fun Land. Never thought I'd see this. Hey, looks like there's a map over there. Go check it out. I'm loving this world building. All right, dude. Ooh. You got a map and a mini golf scorecard. Bring up the map using square. See, all these look like hands, these branches. Too late now. Hole one par two, pull lever to dispense putter. Press button to dispense ball. You might want oh, to hold cool. on to that putter. Could make a decent weapon if you might need one. Can you actually... Oh, you can get more. Right, here we go. Where did the... Oh my goodness, look. <gasps> that was almost a hole in one. Yeah, they got this whole area all blurred out on the googly earth and all. Just looks like empty swampland on there. Can't see. See, Paul. Huh. Not sure why they would have the doors tied into the mini golf, but whatever. What was that? Do you know what this reminds me of? This is going to seem like such a weird thing to say. When I was a kid, went to Canada on an RV with my family, and we got to, I think it was like called Fred Flintstone World, the Flintstone World or something, in like Vancouver, Does anyone, or near the Rockies. Does anyone know about this in Canada? And we got there, and it was closed because it was absolutely pouring down. And we were so sad, so they let us go in, and it was like going around an abandoned theme park because none of the rides were open but they let us just walk around and it was it was kind of cool
Well, shit. Looks like you're trapped in there now. Well, don't get all freaky freaky on me. Everything's still going according to plan. We're just switching to plan B, and I'm going to figure out what that is. So for you, that means just keep exploring the whole place. I got the recorder running, so the video should be perfectly fine. I love Just this. keep it going, and don't be scared and all. It'll just be like a walk in the park for you. This, this is amazing. Looks like you trapped in the This always made now. me sad as a well, kid. Well, don't just stand around. Because I could never Jack. find my name. Look around for a way to get those security gates open again. I don't want to be out here nah, all night. My name was never on here. I have Milt. Is Milt an American name? Yeah. Madison. Horrible name. And you know why I'm saying that. Madison's a fine name, but... Damn, Randy Road of Merchandise. It would probably have been worth some money on that, though. Hey, this is Ed, head of maintenance. Gotta keep making these tapes. Got people coming to me, the same questions over and over. Sick of it. Just listen to the tape, tell you what you need to know. So, if someone has tripped the security gate, Trying to shoplift or whatnot, you're gonna have to reopen the gate. Get the door open ASAP. The company will dock you for any downtime. You know, we do we know that as a deduction from your paycheck. No, oh, you can't squeeze it using the action button. That's a paycheck. Get the door. That's a missed opportunity. Really easy. No point crying over spilt. Milk. And then y'all know how to do it, and you can stop haranguing me for questions all the time. Oh, wow. Oh, dang it, I hate those things. Was it on Probably me? Probably, that's no. you just destroying them. Okay. That is evil looking. Pack them and take their money. If they leave here with even a nickel left in the pockets, we're not doing our job. Mont Grizzly. This is more my thing. So, how do we open this? Must be a button under here. I think you did it. Good to see you ain't as incompetent as I first took you for. Don't worry, I'm still getting a real good video set. Whoa, there he is. Mort Grizzly statue. I can see the resemblance. I mean, sure, he killed a lot of people with his products and all. Firearms, alcohol, tobacco, I make the rude, happy but with a But overall, rat not and a bad enough man. I imagine he brought a lot of people, a lot of happiness <laughs> to this park. Excuse me, it's well, the dust. except maybe the ones that died here and all. But you know what I'm saying. You know, there's a rumor he's cryogenically frozen here somewhere in the park. This is awesome. Honestly, the... The level design, it's a good looking place. I wish the resolution was better. 4D, huh? Sights, sounds, smells, spikes. Uh, wonder what they mean by a spike. Or it was a bit, I just wish it was a bit sharper. Ah. I want to make sure I've not missed any. One man's greed, huh? I like the way he thinks. Hey, what's that button on the wall there do? Press to start the audio tour. 
Fort Grizzly was the true American original. Born Mortimer Abaddon Grizzly, June 6, 1906. He became Please, look at all this fancy stuff. Take your time looking around at all this stuff in here. We might learn something interesting. Of Here's my prediction. I'll be 25 cents richer. And you'll be 25 cents poorer. What in the hell kind of fortune is that? You think that's the way he really talked? Now he's sitting there, he's petting on the sofa. Fort got his start in 1920 as an entrepreneurial young lad, providing affordable homemade alcohol to those who crave it during a time we commonly refer to in the U.S. as prohibition. Sales of the illegal drink were breath from the start, and within the year, young Mort, he was millionaire. Never wanted to let laws before. What's with the frame rate? Is the frame rate not good? Yeah. Um. Has the frame rate just started dropping for you, or has it always been like this? Because the frame rate's good in the headset. But I think there were issues. Fixing untapped potential in the lucrative youth market, the Grizzly Ad Company created the character Randy Rodin in 1929 to more effectively market the product to school children. Randy Rodin was hailed as the first cartoon animated. The 1950s brought more fortune to Grizzly. By now, Randy Rodin was the household name. And all of Grizzly's businesses were moving in the post war economy. Mort's first and only son, Fort Jr., was born. And who Mort considered a disappointment from day one. In 1959, Mort had a daughter named Petunia, who was the apple of his eye. I could take out the, um,. I could reset the feed quickly. Let me, uh, just give me one second, people. Let's see if this fixes it. Hello. And let's see if this fixes. Just let Elgato connect. I think it's still a bit, I think it's the social screen. This is the actual cocktail napkin sketch that, that Mort Grizzly drew in 1964 to sell the bankers on the concept of his fun park. I love this. This is so cool. This is ri sort of the, the, the law building and everything is just really great. Like, look at all these. Like, just this right here. This is so satirical. Oh, it says I've got to press six. Now you know. This is... Uh oh. You better hurry and find a way out of here. You won't be killed by this. Excuse me. Come see these come in. Before you get crushed by this. Uh oh. Hurry up now. I ain't got another one. That video hit you. No. That hit you. It's worth a lot more than I was playing on the table tonight, dude. Don't you dare to get damaged. I'll just step away from the spikes. Hopefully I'll be alright. But I don't think so. Can you die in this game? Oh no! Yes. My head's <laughs> Right. Ah! Uh.
Great job saving the video headset and your knife and all, but that's a great footage you're saving. Keep it up. Hey, is that mouse trap I see there on the floor? You might want to be careful with the toes around those. It's amazing how you can... It's really good to... Um, how it is all destructible. Sorry if the frame rate isn't great. That left Fort Potter for the rest of his life. He began to work extensively with But like my frame rate's fine, isn't it? It's just this game. Tons are alive. Holy shit. Hmm, maybe the storm power two parts weren't the best idea I ever had. Probably brought those guys back to knock me. Well, too late now. We need a plan three. Ah, hmm. uh, hang on a second. One of my girlies calling. Hey, did you get it? It's good? Oh, you know I won't, son. Yeah, just hang on to it. I'll be right over. Uh, did you eat yet? You want to? Oh, this excitement out here has made me real hungry. First, I'm going back to the dock and go get me some food or something, because I'm really starving right now and need to go get something to eat. But once I do, I'll come back out here again and scout out another way in or something, and hopefully you'll still be alive and all, and you'll just meet me there. All right? What's the all right. Good luck. Part two. There's a burger place I know of close right. by, so it shouldn't take me too long. Anyways, I got the recorder running, so the video should be perfectly fine. You just keep going and exploring the park and all, and I'll be back for you real soon, all right? And don't let my headset get broke. Go on. Ten four, then. Hurry out for now. Hey, this is Ed, head of maintenance. Making one of these tapes again. Got a lot of new hires, a lot of new kids coming in here, dumb as shit. Dumb in a box of rocks. You tell them one thing, they can't keep it in their head. So we lock the castle gates every night. If you're opening the park in the morning, you're gonna have to open the gate. So there's a lever. 
side of the duck boat on float. Lever. Clean out the pipe. Your load in that little knife before. Clean that what par is it? Oh, it's par three. But how come? Looks like. You gotta be quick. You gotta get that open. Okay, that was not good. And then maybe a little pea brain to learn how to do it. Two. Ah. <laughs> yeah, this was made by one person, I think, which is just incredible. Do you have to get a hole in one? Cigarette, we meet again. Mr. Ice Cream and Mr. Cigarette. might be having some new visitors. I have to say, the combat is not great, but it's better than it looks in the, the footage, like when you're doing it. But there's... I don't know if there's any hat ticks. I mean, there's headset rumble when they hit you. says it's okay. This is amazing. expensive well clever to replace those robots every time.
three hours later. Go, go, go. Die. Well, I'm enjoying this a lot more than I was expecting. I think this could actually be an awesome game if they... Um, sorted out smooth turning, improved the resolution, like had dynamic foveated rendering. I mean, look at this. The, the, the level design, is, the world building is absolutely incredible. And I'm going to say something that's potentially controversial. I think this might be the, some of the best world building of any VR game. But in terms of like the actual gameplay, very questionable. Yay! Where's it up here? Oh, here. Hold for fun. Oh shit! Yeah, the... I was gonna say, the AI is terrible, but that's fine. Because they're the robots that you're fighting. But, like, this is just ridiculous. Like, the combat... I mean, that, the slow-mo is awesome. Enchanted banana. <laughs> Rotten candy. Although technically, if I'm doing this, I should uh, be facing this way and doing that. So it's, there you go. Anyway. Where was I? Where was I? <laughs> God. Can we go on this ride? Oh my 
glitch through it. No spitting, expertoriating, or loogie hocking. Agreed, seeing the circuit boards behind the masks is a cool touch. Thirty-seven on that last hole, just slightly over par. Hilarious. See if I'm that tall. Yeah, I think I'm tall enough. Right, let's uh Can we can you actually turn it on or is that just There we go. Quick, quick, get on it. Yeah, the frame rate is definitely struggling now. I am actually feeling dizzy. Whoa. Yeah, that frame rate is struggling. Whoa. Genuinely, I feel dizzy now. Oh. I'm trying to get over. Myself than I need to lick. lick my lolly. Okay. Feral squirrels, nutty excursion. You must be this tool to ride. Yeah, I bet it was really uh, bad frame rate for the live stream because it was really bad for me. I want a uh, Roden. Yay, we're on it. Here we are. <laughs> this is super cool. Go get a nut. I'm gonna rob the liquor store. Go get a nut. Ooh, wait, the liquor store. Stop that squirrel. They shot that thing from my store. Hey, stop. Up oh, y'all's pig. They ain't never gonna find me in here. I'll just make a quick detour through the club. Oh, he's gonna. I get it now. He's gonna nut all over the place. Is that what's happening? Hey, call me Johnny Salami. What a slice. I got it. He's, he's not. He's not in everywhere. That's why I'm here, baby. Yeah. Oh, just oh, think yeah. Hey, hey, stop it, dude. Oh, 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 stop it, dude.
Do you want to buy some drugs? Yeah. Hippie, you're going down. Oh, wait, Buzz Kill. Unity. Filthy hippie. Warning, mate, contain nuts. Oh, wait, I saw you as one nutty squirrel. <laughs> Stay off the really hard drugs, kids. That's a really. That's a really. I think that should be taught in school. I thought that was really educational. I like the collectibles. Oh. Four exciting colours. Blow your own balloon. When you said it would be good if it was cleaned up, do you mean the content? Oh my god. Jesus! social screen showing is doing this justice but uh Not 
now, Mr. Ice Cream. I would like some ice cream. Creamy, your name. Someone just said in the chat how it feels like a real place, and I totally agree. This is... I, I've said it earlier, but I'll say it again. I think this might be one of the best examples of world building in VR that I've played. Like, it feels so... It, you feel like you're, you've been round... to operators. We've been getting a lot of parkers, pukers coming off the crazy castle ride and it's building up a disgusting thick layer of vomit all around the exit. Maybe we need to tell people that if they get sick on spinny rides they might want to keep their eyes shut while on this one, Ed. Wow. Okay, let me just... Okay, this is amazing. Wow. Oh, that face is creepy there. Wow. That was incredible. I like I haven't used the map much. Right, there's a golf club there. Yeah, I definitely felt that. Yeah, the frame rate is struggling. Dizzyland. Ride Crazy Castle. Well, better late than never, I suppose. A fart is a sound your ass makes. That's a nice little... No, I tried going back on the ride and it wouldn't let me, so I assume you can only go on and watch. I like that. The far is a sound your ass makes. I might get that on a poster. Ooh! Well, the way they move sometimes is quite creepy. Urchin meal. Yeah, the frame rate is struggling at times in this. Can we get in there? No.
Part of me wants to drop the torch and have two swords, but... It's a shame you can't holster. That'd be nice if you could holster items. Or if, like, items that you used had durability. Ah! Okay. It's a happy little grisly world. Div sponsored by Divided Airlines. Expectorating mothers back neck spinal or other physical disformities. Vehicle may not accommodate guests of ample derriere and prosthetic limbs must be removed to prevent hazards. It's a grisly world. I love the inconsistency. Sometimes you get the trophy before you've even done the ride. Sometimes you get it halfway through. Sometimes you get it half an hour later. Oh, that baby head. <laughs> oh, that was the six-year-old version. got my uh, front window in the house open today so people looking through will oh that's creepy is she gonna jump this is unbelievable this is unbelievable okay that is babies from all over the world. I love equality. It's always important. guys stay back stay back stay back I'm not afraid to use I don't what do you want from me oh there was one in the back Jesus that looks like a happy camel Horrible. Oh wow, that is horrible. Nah, 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 nah. I don't like that. Humpty Dumpty eggs are following me around. No, I don't like that spider. I don't want that spider to come back. Oh! Oh my god, those ones that hide in the back. That is genius design. Okay, this is the first time I felt genuinely scared. That spider was horrible. I hear it behind me. What is it? I 
don't like this at all. Oh no, I don't like that. That's fine. This is awesome. Oh my god, please don't. Spider. No. Oh. No, oh, Jesus. <laughs> There's a spider behind us. No, 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 no. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That is horrible. I don't like that. Genuinely got sh got shivers. The mains remain seated, hold hands, do not freak out or dance. <laughs> Maybe the best way to repel Marauders. See, when you drop the sword, keep with their eye out. doesn't clip Keeping through the ride, the it just stays in the ride. The that way. is a simple I thing, but I think that's awesome. Your eye out like I did. Blows my mind that a small team made this. These wenches won't last long. <laughs> and sail on down to Wiley One Eyed Willie's home. A holy wench. How'd you like a jolly <laughs> run? You got a pig leg? Or are you just happy here. to see me? Oh, come <laughs> over here, Nelly. This is so gross. Oh, I love it. Get it for you, Nelly. Who's your I shiver in my timber. <laughs> oh, look. She's got goat toe. Don't touch me there. Goat fucking skeletons. Fair enough. Like this 
scrape the particles off me rudder. <laughs> Is that a stuff so, or you just have peeps to repeat the same joke and get it again? I love it. I love the chat. The You're awesome. The starboard side. That's to your right for you landlubbers. <laughs> Enjoy the rest I mean, of your day. I've been to Disneyland 25 years ago. Is it Disneyland in Florida or, or Disney World? And funnest theme park. Arr, and don't think if I wasn't just a head up here on a plaque, I wouldn't kick your ass. Hey, don't hit me with that. Ow! Stop that. <laughs> Ow! Pity me. Hurts. Arr, stop it. Arr, arr, arr. Beat down. Destroy the plaque. There we go. That's creepy. <laughs> Anyone who's just joined. This game is... Whoa! Was that meant to happen? I'm guessing this is supposed to happen, right? Or was this a glitch? I can't tell if this is a glitch. Okay. This is definitely a glitch, right? Yeah. Yeah, but one's called Disneyland, one's called Disney World. Okay. Let's return to main menu. Okay. Let's continue. Hopefully it's at the end of the pirate bit. That was... No! Got to do this again. That is annoying. When I fell through the map, it was one of those things of like, this game is so trippy. That could have actually been a part of the design. But yeah. Well, listen everyone. I am not going to go through this again. I am definitely going to play it at a later time. But for the sake of the live stream, that's a shame. Because I was up for keep to keep on going. But I will therefore end the stream there. So, um, listen everyone. I want to say a massive thank you for tuning in. This was Happy Funland. Once again, a massive thank you to the devs and Perp Games for providing me with a game key uh, for this live stream. What are my final thoughts? Firstly, graphics. I've said this already, and I'm saying it in my conclusion at the end. I think this m might be one of the best examples of world building in any VR game I've played. It's absolutely incredible. You genuinely feel like you're going around an abandoned theme park. But it's also a great satirical, satirical take on, you know, modern day theme parks. And the art, the different rides, it's excellent. It's really, really good. In terms of how it looks in the headset, the, the, the game does look good. But I wish the resolution, there's a lot of aliasing, a lot of shimmering, and annoyingly, click turning i wish there was smooth turning if there was dynamic foveated rendering for this game this would be amazing i would love to experience this world with it looking crisp um so yeah art style it looks great and there's a lot of areas that look really good i just wish it had better uh it had better fidelity but uh sound uh sound again it goes to the world building great music um great sound effects um there is some repetition with some of the sound effects but i i'm fine with that because it kind of adds to the feel of it but the yapping at the beginning of the person constantly talking and just not shutting up it does get a bit does get a bit monotonous and grating at the very start but once you get into it 
I think the exploring and going on the different rides has been fun and uh, it, it, it's been great. So yeah, the audio design's cool. Right, haptics. I think this game lacks in the haptic space. There is some headset rumble that's a bit subtle and nice, but like when you're doing the combat, there's just no sense of like connecting with hits. Um, and, um, you know, when you're hitting stuff, like I love all the contact stuff, but there just doesn't seem to be any haptics, which is a real shame. So yeah, haptics, I think there's a lot that could be taken advantage here. And then finally, gameplay. The question I always answer, did I have fun? And the answer is, yeah, I did have fun. I went into this Let's Play thinking, this is going to be a rubbish experience. Let's see if I can get through this based on the impressions that I've seen online. Now, maybe because the bar was so low, that is one of the reasons that I've had a good time. But genuinely, look, this isn't the best VR game I've ever played. And being a game... I, I would say that this is more of an experience and going around this theme park I think is just mesmerizing now will that feeling last I don't know how much more is left of the game uh, that is yet to be seen but um, yeah um, I, I think yeah I've had a good time with this and I am gonna play it to the end uh, and I'm interested to see where it goes the fact I've been told that the ending is where it gets really good uh, I'm really, really interested to see because so far I think that this has been great. Now, is it because I used to love going to these theme parks 25 years ago when I was a kid and I connect with it? If you're someone that's never been to Disneyland, will you have the same appeal? I think that's something that has to be taken into consideration. But yeah, as a game, the combat is terrible. Um, it's really uninspired, although the enemies look great. Um, I wish that there was more on the haptics, more with the contact with the enemies, because there's a lot of great stuff. As I said, when I was on this boat and I had the gun in my hand and I dropped it, in a lot of VR games, it would just sort of like fall down and then clip through. But no, it stayed on the boat with you. So, you know, got to commend it when it's there. But I just wish there wasn't... I wish there was smooth... I wish there was smooth turning. And uh, I know on the social screen the frame rate has been terrible. There have been a few parts in this where the frame rate has suffered but overall um, it's been a good time so yeah um, I feel very mixed about this game to be honest um, and I think that by watching this let's play you'll have a sense of if this is the kind of thing you want to experience for yourself but um, yeah I would love for them to sort out the haptics I would love it if they had dynafoviated rendering for this game and I wish the combat was improved um, because the world building is absolutely incredible. Now, just to be clear, I've said it's one of the best examples. I'm not saying it's the best example of world building. I can think of a lot of other games, but this genuinely feels like... I, I don't feel like I'm in a game. I feel like I'm in an abandoned theme park, and I think that's really, really cool. So, yeah, those are my thoughts. What did you think? Thank you to everyone that's been joining me on the live stream. I hope you had a good time, despite the frame rate issues with the social screen. And um, to anyone that's watching on replay, have you played Happy Funland? If so, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Uh, and if not, what do you make of it? Is this something that you're thinking of checking out? Um, that's all from me. Do hit the like button if you haven't already. And do ring the bell and subscribe to be notified of all future Let's Plays. Because I'm on a mission to Let's Play every single PSVR 2 game out there. And finally, I have released my new merch store called questforempathy.com uh, and if you're watching live right now I think we have a few more discount codes left uh, if you go to questforempathy.com check out the merch there's a mug with me getting hit on the head by a penguin which I know some of you will like and it has actually been a best-selling item so far if at checkout you use the code quest launch all one word in capitals you get 10% off so how about that that's all from me thank you so much everyone I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.